Hi everybody, this is Fox Nomad, and today I want to help you travel smarter by unboxing the DAD D3 Pro microphone. Now I've been looking for a better microphone for a while now for a couple of trips that I have planned. And when I was researching, I looked at the Rode microphone that I'm using, which you can hear now, which I'm switching from. But this microphone here is great for doing things like voiceovers, but it gets in the shot. So ideally what you're looking for, what I'm looking for is a microphone that has a good quality that doesn't pick up a lot of echo that can pick up voices pretty well and one that I can obviously use on the road in a lot of places that's when I came across this in my research and that's the Deity D3 now most people most vloggers that you know probably use one of the Rode microphones I'm using one of those right now but a lot of people use one of the larger Rode microphones but in my research I came across this microphone which is supposed to be less expensive which has more features more options great sound quality and a lot of accessories and I ordered it several months ago and I just got it. The reason is because Deity did not expect this microphone to be so incredibly popular and if you've ordered one of these the chances are you've been waiting for months or you will be waiting for months. So today I wanted to unbox this one and show you what's inside before the full review comes out in a couple of days. All right so here we go this is about the size of the box just to give you an idea. Now if you're moving up from the Rode Video Micro or a smaller microphone you're gonna notice that this one is larger but you get a lot of benefits from the larger size from having a microphone that can be adjusted. Now, I don't want to compare this too much before I do a full comparison video, but a lot of these microphones, when you get them, if, especially if you vlog a lot, don't come with the case. In fact, a lot of travel products, a lot of products that are either meant for traveling or that you're gonna travel with frequently and the companies know that, don't seem to provide a case. So having a case, especially one that's custom built for the actual product is such a good feature to have. All right, some instruction manuals. Now this case doesn't feel very flimsy either. It's a really nice case actually. I'm glad DD provided it. And it's well organized inside as well. So this is a hard shell case. This is gonna protect the microphone phone and have space for all of your cables as well which is like I said really well thought out really well designed it's not a completely hard shell it's just a little bit you know it has a little bit of flexibility so you can put this case into your backpack and you should be good to go it should fit comfortably even if your backpack is a little bit overstuffed got your USB charging cable because this microphone does need to be charged it's got about five hours of battery life so it's not going to pull the power off of your camera directly you're going to need to remember to charge this every time before you recording audio cable as well so the audio cable like i said doesn't provide any power to the microphone just remember to charge it up before you record anything and after you're done recording make sure that you remember just get in the habit of charging it up every time and then here you go here's the boom microphone it's uh, pretty clever setup even though it's fairly simple the design is got this uh, sort of black mat but it's got these uh, what makes it look like it's been splashed with water that's just the style that they've chosen here I would have preferred it to be a flat black mat but you know it's not a it's not it doesn't look too bad like this so here you've got the windscreen which does come off you don't necessarily need it if you're recording indoors or if you're going to use this as a boom microphone which is one of the great features of this mic is that you can use it as a fully functioning boom microphone not not just for vlogging on top of your camera. So the microphone is pretty light and uh, it's not too large as you can see. It's not gonna extend too much past the lens of your camera. Here you've got a gain knob, which is this uh, smooth gain knob, which allows you to increase the microphone gain depending on the kind of conditions you're shooting in. Here you've got also some two low pass filters, which are used to reduce wind noise at different frequencies. So if you're in a windy environment, that can help you cut out the external wind noise. These dials on the gain knob don't click into place, but it's rather it's sort of a smooth scrolling feature so you can turn that up you can turn dial up and down slowly to get the right kind of gain levels especially if you've got this hooked up to some kind of monitor the d3 sits in this shock mount if you're going to use it on top of a camera and they've added a feature here which i'll get into more in the full review but what i really like about this is that you can sort of unscrew that bottom where it connects and you can move the microphone forward and backward closer or a little bit further away from your subject when you're shooting on the camera other than that it's pretty Pretty simple so there you go if you've ordered one of these you're gonna be waiting for months because deity did not expect this to be as popular of a microphone as it is and it's a nice and impressive introduction to a hopefully good microphone. So there you have it. That's the full unboxing. Let me know what you think of the Deity D3 in the comments below if you're waiting for this microphone as well. If you want to see the full review, make sure you subscribe. 
If you know anybody who vlogs who might be interested in a new mic, be sure to share this with them as well. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Better microphone, feel free.